so today we're gonna learn how to use our, our battery analyzer for this particular battery test. I'm gonna use the this Foxwell one. Yeah, it's not too expensive. I think this is like uh, 40 or $50 on Amazon. I'll make sure I put a link to it. So before we get started, we are going to go ahead and disconnect our batteries from our truck. Again, just being aware of the ratchet. So if you look right here, you can see where some people had some incidents and start to park out this nut. So that's what we're trying to avoid happening. sure you be mindful of where you put, put your cables at, which ones they came off of, especially when you're dealing with a series or parallel circuit. I always suggest people actually draw schematics. If it's anything more complex than two batteries, it can um, get a little bit confusing, especially depending on how long it takes you to diagnose what you're going through. <coughs> So what we're gonna do is just take it, we're gonna go red to positive, black to ground. You see our analyzer turned on. Turns on, gives us our initial voltage. We're gonna hit enter. So we're gonna test, be testing a 12 volt system. Enter, in vehicle, auto vehicle test. Uh, this just depends on if you have it hooked up to the cable still. So if it was still hooked up to the cables, you would do a in-vehicle test uh, because we've disconnected the batteries from one another, which we need to do to test these batteries properly in this uh, heavy-duty system. We're going to test it as an out-of-vehicle test. So it's asking, is it top post or side post? Obviously, it's top post. So it's asking what type of battery it is, regular AGM gel. So we're going to go with regular. It's a regular battery. It's asking us what measurement we want to use to test it. And we're going to use uh, CCA cold crank amps. You can find that on the st sticker. So right here, it says the cold crank amps is uh, 730. So we're gonna go to enter for CCA then. It's already set to 730. So we'll hit enter one more time. So we see it testing. So it say enter a state of charge. Do we have we charged it? And then say no. So it's before charge. So we hit enter. And now it's telling us that it's 10.8 volts, 37 cold cranking. I mean 37 cold cranking amps is measured and it was rated for 730. So we need to replace this battery. Okay. Let's go ahead and test the second battery really fast. So same thing. One of the benefits is giving us our voltage. So one of the benefits now we can just kind of push button through because we know uh, they should be the exact same batteries, hopefully. Uh, that's a video for a different day if they're not, but they should be. So we can kind of push button straight through this. It has smart, so it remembers all your previous selections. So. So just as we should expect in a parallel system, if one, one battery is bad, normally the rest of them are gonna be bad as well. Uh, sometimes you get into three or four batteries, you might still find one or two good ones or marginally good ones. But uh, as a general rule of thumb, if you have one bad battery in a parallel system, you wanna go ahead and replace all the batteries 
Um, you know, uh, a lot of people, they'll just try to replace one or two. It's normally not a good idea. Um, we'll have some conversations about that later. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So for this particular truck, we'll be putting two new batteries in it. And uh, yeah, it should be good. So see you in the next one. Bye.